Welcome to the Audi Garage. In this episode of the B627 Project, we're going to mount up the turbos, so make sure to stick around. The first thing we're going to need to do is take off all the banjo lines and fittings, clean them up on the wire wheel, and then move them onto the new turbo. We're going to start with the driver's side. This process will be the exact same for the passenger side as well, with one exception. On this coolant line, there's an extension for the banjo fitting and there's a single crush washer under that fitting. Unfortunately, the 034 kit only generally comes with the flat, thinner washers. You'll have to go out and purchase your own thicker washer that fits under that extension. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Now that I've cleaned off the banjo fittings, it's time to fit up the turbo. One thing to note is that I've already taken off the oil feed lines and cleaned them thoroughly so they're all uh, flushed out of any gunks in there. Uh, that's really important to do. I've left the fitting up at the uh, distribution block loose for the time being. I'm going to tighten everything here first and then we'll tighten that. So unfortunately the camera died out on me but as you can see I've attached all the banjo fittings loosely and uh, hooked up the lines. The manifold to turbo bolts are just snugged up, nothing's been torqued yet. The bolts holding on the coolant and oil lines are also slightly loosened off. What I like to do here is make sure that I remember that I have to do everything in a certain order and have it lined up so I know where to tighten down everything to the correct angles to not cause stress on any of the lines. Um, so I'll turn on the time lapse and uh, we'll get going. So as you can see, we have the inlet turbo and motor mount bolted up. On that uh, 034 Motorsport mount, I did drill out the bracket to use the 10 millimeter hardware. And I'll have to do the same on the sway bar bracket as well. One thing I haven't hooked up yet is the oil drain line. This is the reason I haven't hooked it up yet. This right here is the gasket supplied in the 034 Motorsport kit. And this is the original OEM gasket off a of KO3 turbo. If you overlay the gaskets, you can see that the one supplied by 034 actually has a smaller opening and a larger overall diameter. So that gasket's actually hitting the turbo and I can't install it correctly. And I don't like how the gasket material is hanging over into the oil drain area. So I'll go pick up some OEM ones uh, that should fit a lot better. So we just have to repeat the process on the passenger side and then we'll be done bolting up the turbos. Now that we have the turbos installed, it's time to start buttoning up the rest of the engine. Don't forget to check out our Facebook, our website, and our Instagram for updates in between videos, and make sure to subscribe so you're notified when the next video comes out. See you guys soon.